Hey, so today I'm going to be going over some tips I learned reading The Game by Neil Strauss. In this video, you will learn 7 tips on how to get a girlfriend. Now, it's very important you understand this video is only going to cover getting a girlfriend, not keeping one. So look for that advice and tips in my other videos. So the first step to obtaining a girlfriend is to acquire a target. Now this book goes through and explains how to pick up a chick at a bar, but this video is going to be more geared towards finding a potential spouse and not necessarily a one night stand. So you need to be looking for qualities you want in someone to live a life with. Are they interesting and do you think you both could benefit being a part of each other's lives? Have they developed the characteristics of a potential mate you wish to live with? Stuff like honesty, loyalty, and the ability to compromise are huge factors when looking for a mate. And if they don't have them yet, you may want to wait or look elsewhere. So tip number two is to approach the girl. So this is definitely the hardest part, and lots of guys have trouble finding the confidence to go up and talk to the girl on the spot. Especially if she's around her friends, it can be very nerve-wracking. Now there are tons of tricks and pickup lines to approach the girl, and I'm going to give you three basic ways to approach a girl you like. One way the author suggests is to carry a ball of lint around with you, and whenever you meet someone you want to start a conversation with, pull out the ball of lint and ask, how long has this been on you? And this will do two main things. First, it will allow you into her conversation, and secondly, as the author explains, it will lower her self-esteem by putting her off guard that you found something slightly embarrassing. Another interesting way is to walk up to her and perform a cheesy magic trick. Now there are plenty of these you can find online, and many can be learned in a matter of minutes, so this is pretty cool. The author suggests telling a lady that you've taken a handwriting analysis class, and that you want to try reading her handwriting. Ask her to write a slightly seductive sentence, and if her letters are straight up and down, you can say that she has a lot of confidence and likes to be independent. If her letters are slanted, you can say she likes to relax, yet have fun on occasion. And if her letters are close together, tell her she likes to be close to another human. And if her words are far apart, tell her you think she likes her personal space. And then lean in real close and whisper in her ear, and ask her if it's true. But really, this book is definitely kinky. The third is just to walk up to her and do a cheesy pickup line. Something like, hey, I'd like to get to know you better, what are your passions? Works great, because just like How to Win Friends and Influence people suggest, the more you can get someone talking about themselves, the more psychologically attracted to you they will become. And this also skips you to tip number four. So ending this tip, the best way will vary in every situation since every relationship will be different. Some will be geared more towards cute, others serious, and some sexy. When you approach her though, think about what you will be telling her parents or your children 10 years down the road about how your relationship started. So tip number three is to show that you have value. So this step, after you have initiated a conversation, is to puff your peacock feathers. So how can you show her that she needs you in your life? Some people call this selling yourself. Basically, you have to be great at marketing your own skills. Now, it's not like finding a job. You have to make her like you. Show her how much more interesting her life will be with you in it. Teach her all the stuff you're passionate about, because there's something most women find sexy about seeing a man passionate. The book suggests wearing great clothing and always smelling good. A tip the book gives on smelling great is to take two colognes and spray them on each wrist. Now go to a public place and ask a whole bunch of girls which one they like best. Now keep a pin on you and mark a tally each time a wrist gets picked. Since colognes are scientifically designed to mix with your pheromones and oils, the favorite smells will vary with every man. Now value can be anything but it's best measured by a lady in a charismatic personality and positive attitude. And for great advice on this, check out some of the other videos on my channel. So tip number four is to create an emotional connection. So after telling her something you're passionate about it for a couple minutes, or until she starts to show sign that she's not interested, ask her about things that she's passionate about. Start to probe a bit into things that she's emotionally attached to, and learn as much about her as you can in 10 questions. Now this is where you ask the questions. If you've both got time, listen to her as long as you can. And since you told her something that you're passionate about first, she will psychologically trust you more, and then be more open to tell you things that you could be trusted with. And once she does this, you two have an emotional attachment, and this is super important. There's deep psychological meaning that you can use to convert this emotional attachment into attraction, and you'll learn how to in the next few steps. Now, tip number five is try to get her alone. And by now, she should trust you enough to go somewhere alone with you. And if you're in a bar, this might be like in the corner of the room or even going outside. If you're in college, this could be like going to a coffee shop or someplace away from her friends yet still in public. And if you're in high school, this could get tricky. The main idea is to take her to a place where it can be just you two, yet not alone enough to start to creep her out. And this will lead into the next step, which is physical contact. 
So now it's time for the real deal. After you have her in a private place, or some place where she feels comfortable, try to create a physical connection, and this will bridge the gap between emotional attachment and attraction. Now you can pull her hair back, you can ask her to dance, or you can even ask her to kiss. And this book gives great advice on asking for a kiss if you have the confidence. You have to have the confidence for this trick to work. Ask her, would you like to kiss me? And if she says yes, which is pretty rare, the book says, grab the side of her face with your hand, look right into her eyes, and go for it. If she says maybe, or I don't know, or any other synonym that sounds like that, say, well, let's find out, and lean in really close, slowly, and kiss her. And if she says no, the book says to tell her something like, I didn't say you could, it just looked like you had something on your mind. Which could come off a little jerkish, so be careful and think about the personality of the girl you're talking to before you say it. And tip number seven is to ask for more. Most of the time, if you made it to kissing her or dancing with her, and you did it right, you'll have her going crazy for you. And all you have to do is make it official by saying something like, I'd love to spend more time with you. Want to meet me for coffee or pizza or a movie or Netflix? And if she's into you, she'll agree and you've got yourself a girlfriend. Now, know that any time during these steps, if you get the courage, just plain asking her out to be your girlfriend is totally acceptable and will be way easier. Also, these tips could go from a couple minutes long to a couple days long, but any longer and it's quite ineffective. Now, I try to make this video as smooth as possible by combining the secrets of pickup artists and how to start a successful relationship, but know that every situation will vary and that this is just a psychological guideline that might work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, click the like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe for more. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm shipping this book to Pester Weaver for being such a loyal viewer. Thanks for all the supportive comments, Pester. Mm -hmm.